As the state continues to reopen and more testing becomes available for COVID-19, Florida is seeing a record number of new positive tests, and the majority of them are people in their 30s. CBS 12's Lexi Nall spoke to one of those young people who's now recovering from this horrible virus. I think that's one of the trends that you're seeing is that 25 to 35 way more positive uh, tests out of that group than you would have had two months ago. Since the number of positive cases began climbing, Governor Ron DeSantis has insisted that the trend is due to an increase in testing. And because people under the age of 35 are not considered to be in a high-risk category, the governor says he's not concerned about the spike. But one infectious disease expert says that might be short-sighted. Yeah, if you're 30 years old, you're not going to die from this, but you may end up flat on your back in your bed for three weeks and it'll take you six weeks after that to recover. This is something that 26 year old Darcy Shocker knows all too well. I think this is probably the most sick I've ever been. Darcy contracted coronavirus after traveling to an Orlando theme park with her boyfriend. When he took me to the hospital, I was like, I feel like I'm dying. I was shaking like I couldn't keep any liquid down. I was just throwing everything up so I couldn't keep fever reducers down. So my fever was like just there for days. Yeah. Though Darcy is now recovering, she has an important message for any young people who might be feeling tempted to venture out because of shutdown fatigue. For the safety of not only like people our age, but like the elderly, people who are dying, you know, this is serious. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of people who are not going to recover from this and you don't want that on your hands because you just wanted to go out and get outside. And the professor agrees the chances of spreading the virus to others are still high at any age, especially if you're not wearing proper PPE. Wear the mask. It'll keep you from getting sick and it'll keep you from giving people you love the infection and maybe dying from it. Governor Ron DeSantis has made it clear that he does not plan to shut down anything again or to revert to restrictions that were in place before the first phase of reopening. For CBS 12 News, I'm Lexi Nall.